then and now, to now. Now, uh, the utilization of the um, outside world, the living world materials as a construct, a, a kind of compositional element to making my paintings, simply served to give my uh, narratives a place to dwell. And uh, Jewel Lake is in uh, Tilden Park in Berkeley, and it's a place where I would go and just kind of sit. And it was, for me, it held all of the possibilities of telling all the stories of my life. And the painting behind you, in fact, is Big Fish Camp. And, and uh, this idea came from me, my first visit to Yosemite. I felt that that little scrubby uh, composition that I saw in this, in this particular scene was not so much being the same as El Capitan. And it drew my interest to it, you know. And then I dare say that I try to bring to it those qualities of what moves us whenever we are in company of something that's bigger than ourselves. It makes you realize that we're, that we're just small entities within this larger scheme of things, you know. And I'm never, I never forget that, you know, uh, my place in that and how I can kind of be in it in a way and at the same time understand the potency and power, you know, and potential of, um, of what surrounds us and what supports us. Individuals and groups can come and bring the most difficult problems that exist and try to find resolutions in spaces like this, surrounded with this work. Because this work will hold you and will hold difficulties of conflict and at the same time perhaps offer ways of resolution. That's what my intention is with this work. But with these pieces, they needed to have scale. They needed to be bigger than the viewer. Because what I was attempting to do was to psychologically to capture you for a moment that you would have to be still to configure what, where you were in relationship to that and what this thing was that was moving you. Kimberly and I, we're, we're very uh, uh, serious meditators. We've been doing it for many, 30 years or more. And this has allowed us to be able to uh, contemplate and be with things for periods of time where, where you're accomplishing a, a great deal by doing nothing. Okay? So, um, constantly being in motion can be useful, but also it can be distractive. So, it's important to me that I give you a place that we can walk, that you can walk through to meet me on the other side, sort of. But you don't have to, but what's on the other side can be your interpretation. Okay, uh, before we arrived today, uh, Kimberly and I, we were talking about uh, the themes that I uh, want to pursue as, as I go forward from this next body of work. And it has to do with, with place, with memory, and with love. And I think that probably for me, the kind of love that I'm talking about that relates to place and memory as narrative has to do with that part of me that can walk outside and feel like I could be anywhere in the world and I feel at home. So if this work can hold that and hold concepts of that, then I think that I've done what I set out to do.